Hi, this is Dr. Mark and I want to talk to you about our very first JavaScript. Now, I'm going to take a look at my JavaScript course folder and there you'll notice I've copied over from my Cascading Style Sheet folder our web page Watchtower and the corresponding style sheet. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. I've changed the style a little bit, but it's essentially the same page. It's got uh, all along the watchtower as the heading, followed by a performance of the song by the Dave Matthews Band, and then Bob Dylan's lyrics below. And the biggest change that I made was to expand the size of those lyrics. Okay? So let's put that away for now. We'll come back to it in a little bit. And I've got the web page source code right here in Text Wrangler waiting for us. And what we're going to do is we are going to put in just a one liner of JavaScript to display the day, the date, and the time at the top of our web page. So we'll come down above our heading one. And let's put in our script tag. Now the element is script. And this is the start tag. On the start tag, we have to specify what kind of script it is. So the type is text forward slash Java script end quote. Make sure you don't forget the quotes. And of course, the end tag or the uh, greater than bracket to end the tag. Now remember that I, whenever I put a tag in, I like to immediately put in the stop or end tag. That way I don't forget. So I've got, I'm starting my script here. The next line I'm stopping it. I can always put space in between to type in my script and I'm going to indent it to show it's part of this script. So it's subordinate to the script tag. Now I'm going to type in document.write. This will write to my web document and it's a function. If you've taken any other programming languages you should know that a function is immediately followed by an argument that's enclosed within parentheses. So I need a left parent and then what I'm going to do is make this argument a set of characters. So I'm going to concatenate some pieces of string together as if I were just typing the line right into HTML. So I'm going to do a paragraph, whoops, I'm going to do a paragraph tag in quotes then I'm going to add to that the date function, which is not part of HTML, it's part of JavaScript. And then I'm going to add to that my closing paragraph tag in quotes. Close the argument with my right parent and then close the statement with a semicolon. In JavaScript we use these semicolons as if they were the periods on a sentence. Okay, so it's going to piece together a paragraph tag, the text that comes out of running the date function, and then a closing paragraph tag. Okay, let's save this file out. And just in case I made a mistake, we're just going to minimize Text Wrangler. Then let's go back out to the JavaScript course folder and take a look at our web page again. And there it is. There's our date right at the top of the page. The day, Wednesday. The date, September 7, 2011. The time, 15 hours, 
46 minutes and 13 seconds. The time zone is Greenwich time minus 5 hours or Central Daylight Savings Time. Now, that's 3.46 p.m. And if you take a look at the top right-hand corner of the podcast, you'll see that the time on my computer is 3.46 p.m. The date function pulled the date from my computer's system clock. Okay? All right. That's our first JavaScript, and we'll be seeing a lot more very soon.